Future husband's cup of tea. Do you know what, fuckwit? It's because you said to me yesterday... <laughs> you Alright, so just coming to the end of the walk now. You're gonna be able to see it. See that star? So, in my mind, that's my boy's Digby's soul watching over us, his spirit. Obviously, we lost Digby in November. Um, for those that have ever watched the vlog or followed me, uh, know that what a big loss that would have been to, to us. Still got Jessie, she's, uh, she's still going strong. Um, but yeah, these morning routines, every single morning we think of him. And that star, I'm not saying the star's shown up since Dibby died, but I've just noticed that star since he died. And you just take some comfort, don't you, when you lose people. Um, and the hit, and, and that watching over us. So this is where we set up camp the shelter in here it's actually quite nice so if i had a little bit more time i'd probably drive down and be in the outdoors but i've got the show in like five minutes <laughs> get the wetsuit out as well this week and use this opportunity to get in and start doing some swimming for the half Ironman I've got booked in in July I think it is amazing right let's get on with the day all right so it is 6 20 now so my routine has changed slightly in that I would be down here to about seven um, but we've kind of got an operation get Bailey going um, I'll explain later on in the week kind of what's happening, but one of the things we're trying to do to help is get Bailey up and uh, at it early in the gym to get a lot of that energy and hyperactivity that he's got going on. Um, so it means um, cutting short my, the morning routine for me, but I love it because I still get to work out and be with my boy at the same time, which is like a magic formula for me. So let's go and get him. gym time. Oh, what's happening here? What's happening? Watch the edge of the bed. You all right, missus? 
Good. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? What's the edge of the bed, mate? <laughs> you can be the most organised and well-planned guy in the world. I still forget the bread and milk for Monday morning. Fail. Wife? Meant to be my wife in four months. And let me show you what, look, well, this is three months. Three months. So. That's Jemima's cup of tea. That's future husband's cup of tea. Do you know what, fuckwit? It's because you said to me yesterday, you were having one coffee in the morning. How do you know? My... With your breakfast. So I don't know what you've had yet. I don't know if you've had your coffee. I don't know if it's peppermint tea you want. I know, everyone else. Tea, Listen to it. Because you're such a penis that you can't even decide what you're going to drink. Great pyjamas. <laughs> Bye! Can't see out of that window. Yeah. Oi. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. Have a good day. Love, Love ya. Bye. Okay, it is 8.30. I'm running slightly late. I'm on the way to jujitsu. On the way, I'm going to be following my number two, which is John. We're talking about business, set up the week, and then um, probably phone mum or phone mum on the way back. I always like to use uh, dr like driving sessions as good times to talk to people. Um, it's kind of being productive, right? Right, let's do this. Okay, jujitsu done, gym done. I don't have to worry about fitness again today. Now I'm gonna go and have a cold shower, have something to eat. My next appointment is at 11 to start my next work zone and uh, crack on with the first task of the day, which is getting ready for the five day challenge in a couple of weeks. Distraction number one. Hey, Darcy, Darcy, Darcy. Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Distraction number two. Oh, that was actually me. Don't flatter yourself. I was just swearing at you. <laughs> so it's dad taxi. It's 11.30. It does cut into my productivity, but um, at the minute she just needs the help. So um, it's like 10 minutes. And then we get out and then we've got a meeting at 12. I'm video I'm videoing all the new five-day challenge videos at home. Just obviously refreshing them all, updating them because we've changed the brand and the logo and everything. And those those videos were done like two years ago. So we're refreshing the five-day challenge, the terminology, what we're doing, how we've evolved it. Um and then uh yeah, I'm looking forward to lunch. I am starving Marvin. What are you doing? Distraction. But it is the reason I'm not at the office. It's because I'm enjoying it, aren't I? It is my lunch break. Just, Jemima hasn't made me lunch yet. <laughs> she won't marry me. <laughs> I'm looking for a way to get out of it. All right, so it is now one o'clock. So I'm gonna make some lunch. Uh, so far we've done all the new posters, Q&A. You don't need to know the fucking details. So basically I've done loads of stuff to upgrade the way that the five day challenge looks. Just had a meeting with uh, business owners for my side hustle project, which is time domination. Um, so everything, I'm doing everything that I need to be doing. I'm on track where I need to be. 
t-shirt super white. Give fuck, babe. <laughs> All right, it's about to get real. School run is underway. Jemima is gone. <laughs> Jemima's gone to go and get the devil. Four-year-old devil. I'm trying to play chilled out songs in here to chill this one out. <laughs> <laughs> she's got bruises and cuts because she's constantly falling over trying to stand up. I've got about as much productive work as I'm going to get done today. So what I have to do, this is almost my wrap up period, right? So this is where I start planning for tomorrow, analyze what I've done today. I just need that clarity. When I switch off, if I don't do that clarity, I'll have 101 things going through my brain. I've got training tonight with the boy, so I'm taking him to his NFL training, which will be cool. Um, I've got to schedule a couple of emails for the morning, for daily email, um, and just make sure I know I'm clear tomorrow, I know what's happening. <laughs> Skin? How was your day? What was your favourite thing? Play. Play area. Who with? The boy thinks he's doing well. Say four. You know when you... Oh, did you? Okay. So was it ten? The train is on now, boy. The flip flops are off. Let's go. Oh, God. What are you doing? It's like getting up, right? Oh, 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 Go on! Oh, we need to restart without. Give me that! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not! So that um, basketball hoop that I just bought, I've had to pack it up after spending all fucking night to send it back because it's cheap shit. It's already bent after the boy drilling me, to be fair. I hate doing shit like that. I just waste my time. It's just a pain in the ass, Don't you? Just like literally a pain in the ass. So I'm going out to play some ball with the boys. It's going to be dinner time. I've done all my, like, I know what I've got to do tomorrow. I'm signing off from work. Probably, um, it's not too bad, what is it? It's half four. So good productive day work-wise. Now it's dad hat on um, and uh, switching off from phone and everything else and all other commitments. What the? You are looking good. Go. Up, up. Middle. Oh, yes. Yes. Future NFL star. Uh, that's twice yeah. you've done that to me today. Three times you're dead. It's nine o'clock. That's a long, long ass day. I'm getting me to bed. See you in the morning. <laughs>